Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Mist Survival. Okay, guys. Well, we went ahead and moved our bed out of the here because we are done with the big cabin. That's right. We went ahead and we were moving out of this cabin here. Well, we're not moving out, but we, I'm definitely moving the bed out. So, question is: Is the biggest cabin worth it? That's the big question of the day. So, if you go to B for build, this is what I did. Well, you guys saw this in the last video. So, hunting cabin C right here is 70 logs. 30 wood, 50 nails, and 30 sticks. And you need a hammer. So uh, it's 96 hours to build this sucker, man. I mean, in the last video, it, I was on day 9. Right now, I'm on day 22. So it took me a minute to build this thing, guys. And I mean, I was sitting here pretty much uh, almost exclusively just standing here harvesting materials and... Oh, there's a feather. Harvesting materials and and putting this thing together. So it, took, it takes a long time a long time so yeah anyway so i mean i did some other things so i mean that's i mean the, the i know the hours don't match up but but yeah still it, it is it worth it though i mean if you look at this cabin right here you've got a stairway here and you got a stairway here you get a window door window look at this stairway here stairway here window door window it's the same cabin it's the exact same except for one thing one small little detail, which is actually kind of a big, big de de detail. You get a back porch, which I when when I place this thing, it it's not on the ground, but it's fine. And then go up here, and you have this up top. You still have that over there, but you don't have you can't get it in the back up there. So it's just a back window, and there's no back porch, or there's no there's no stairway leading up. So uh, this right here, though, the 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 infected don't knock down the door. And it's a safe spot to sleep at night. I didn't even get wake, woken up last night. The infected didn't bother me at all. And I don't even know if there's any infected around. Let's see if any got attracted to the area. We're going to do a little walk by here and see if any of them are laying down here dead. I don't think there are, actually, to be honest. There might be. I mean, they should be wandering around. But if I'm not attracting them from being here, then they're not going to show up, I guess. And either, either I got lucky and there's zero infected that showed up last night, or me being up in that room just flat out kept them from showing. Which is what I think happened, because I don't see any in the area. Like, none. So does that just, like, completely get rid of the aggro? Because of the way that that's situated like it is? Because I don't see any. So, you know, it's like, when the mist happens today, if I'm close to the house... I'm going to jump up there and see. Because I got nothing here, man. Oh, there's a log. All right. So, yeah. I mean, I I would say, it, I mean, it's worth it to have the, the, the top piece. But can you, can do we have one that we can do that with anyway? Like cabin B? It's still going to take 96 hours. Cabin, uh, cabin 1F doesn't have it. Obviously, the small cabin doesn't have it. So, yeah. I mean, it might be. It might be worth it, but then again, then you don't have any any infected to harvest in the morning. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a a mixed blessing, you know. Anyway, guys, I went ahead and I did find a shotgun. If you guys didn't see the shotgun in my inventory, found a shotgun. Uh, actually, I found two. There is one on top of the trailer right over here. The gray trailer, and you guys had, tell, had mentioned that. I found it. And then also, uh, back where the two barns are, right behind the two big barns is another shack. And in a box in that shack, I found another shotgun. So, and also, I went and got the uh, the saw machine. You guys have been, uh, everybody's been saying, go get that saw machine. I, I did. I did. I got it. So there it is. So we got the saw machine. We're good to go. And now I think, man, well, I mean, I'm out of food. And I'm kind of hungry, I, and I don't have anything to harvest for this morning. I can make one arrow, huh? Maybe we should make an arrow. That way I'll have another arrow. Oh, and I did make a chicken coop, too, to put my chicken inside. Did he lay, lay an egg? All right, so we got an egg here. We're going to keep an eye on that egg. I'm not going to eat it. We're going to see if we get a, a baby chick. Hopefully it grows up into another chicken. Hopefully these guys will, like, exponentially grow, and we'll have, uh, we'll have enough chickens where we can go ahead eventually and harvest them. And have uh, you know a good food supply. So yeah, I'm still waiting on finding some seeds 
So let's go out and let's see what we can do about me. Oh, let me make an arrow right quick. And let's go out and see if we can go hunting. And see if we can't get ourselves something to eat because I'm starving. All right, let's head on out. Let's go get ourselves a deer or something. All right, guys, there's a deer right over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sneak up on him or not, but we're going to see. Like I should run him over to the to the cliffs, huh? That looks like okay. That is a deer. I was like, that looks like an antelope. Oh, he ran. So even sneaking, you can't you can't get close to these guys, huh? Yeah, he wants to. He wants to, okay. I'm gonna jump back in the truck. We're gonna run him down. Now I don't know if the if the truck noise is gonna scare him away. Or if we're going to be good. Like, there he is right there ahead of me. Like, he may not even notice me because I'm in the truck. You see, the truck is... Oh, yeah, he's scared of the truck. He is. Okay. He's right there. I don't think I can kill him this far away with a shotgun. We're going to see. No, it's too it's too far away. It's a shotgun. I didn't I didn't expect I was gonna. What's over here? Well, that's a hotel. Okay. Like I'm gonna have to herd his butt. I might try the bow. Well, oh, there's a bear. Let's get the bear. We'll get the truck. We'll get the, we'll get the bear. The bear's easy because he'll, he'll he'll aggro on me. All right. Well, I know he's right here, so we're just gonna go ahead and just tuck ourselves right in here. I think. Where would he go? Hey there, big boy. Alright, I am severely wounded. Let's go ahead and go to status. That was nice. Alright, so... I just need the meat, really. Let's go ahead and uh, butcher... We'll take all the meat. It's two and a half hours. Let's hope this didn't take too long. I hope the, hopefully the mist doesn't show up. Are we good? All right, we're good. And I'm starving to death, too. All right, and then we got two units there. And then the back. Nope. Okay, so now I've just got these guts. I probably should take those. It's 40 minutes. I'm losing health because I'm starving and I'm hungry. Um, it's two hours for the animal hide. I don't know if I'm... I, we haven't had a mist yet, dude. There's our mist. All right, I gotta wait out, wait out the mist, guys, because like we're starving and we're dehydrated. You know what? Here, let me let me drip out real quick. Let me drink some water. Can I eat this? Oh God! I ate it raw. All right, well, we ate raw bear meat, and we're not, and, we're, and we drank some water, so we're good. I'll probably get food poisoning from the raw bear meat, but I have antibiotics at the house, and I've been getting food poisoning so often that I don't even, I don't even care. Although, if I run out of antibiotics, I certainly will care. Okay, we're back at the house. I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for the mist to stop, and then we'll jump out. We'll cook some food, and we'll go back for that hide and that and that and that fat.
All right, guys. Well, I had to actually log out and log back in. The mist wouldn't stop. I sat here for like 30 minutes. And the mist, I got stuck in a perpetual mist. So I had to, and then I went upstairs and I had to rest because when I logged back in, the mist was still there. We could still hear the, we could hear the birds chirping like they do whenever the mist goes away. But yeah, it didn't, the mist wasn't going away. So, but I fixed it. So that's fine. Hey, chicken. This one's laid. We're just going to let that chill out. Hopefully that's going to hatch. That'd be great. All right, so we got ourselves quite a bit of meat. So let's go ahead and let's, um, let's grab all the salt that we got. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to go like this. Dried meat. Oh, it's, it's going to take a lot more time than I really want to mess with. But let's put these let's put these guys on here like we do. And then go inside right quick and... Actually, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I was going to say we could probably go upstairs to do this, but that's fine. We have plenty of time. 20. It's still not quite dark. 40? I don't think I can fit 40 on there. We'll craft them. That's good. That. That's more than enough. All right, then we'll go ahead and do like this. Fill this sucker up with meat, dude. And mind you guys, this, all this salt came from that glitch that I was talking about in the last episode. So yeah, that's you know it. I, I'm using it because I got it, but it's one of those things that you just kind of. I have to roll with it, I guess. I have one piece of meat left. We're going to cook that up. I'm going to eat that for dinner. Okay, so now... Okay, I'm not totally hungry. I've got food poisoning, so we're not going to waste this meat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... I'm gonna, we're going to, I think, head to bed. And then I think we're going to be good to go. Um, I, I think in the morning I'll go back and I'll get, that, I'll get that hide and we'll hook it up. And we'll see what we can do after that. Go ahead and head on to bed. Hopefully I'll be better by the morning. I don't have any bandages. We're gonna have to make some. I'm gonna have to make a distillery, so that we can um, we can make. Or what do you call it? Uh, moonshine still. I need to make a moonshine still because we're gonna have to. I need to make some alcohol so we can go ahead and make bandages. I have plenty of bottles too, so we're good to go on that front. All right, we have. Uh, we can go sleep for nine hours, and that should do the trick. Now watch. I don't think I'm gonna wake up at all tonight. Oh, he did wake me up. All right. Well, then that's good. That means they are showing back up. Um, let's see. Seven more hours? Eight more hours. All right. Food poisoning is still around. We're going to eat that anyway. Okay, that wasn't too much of a loss. That bottle's empty, and... Go ahead and drink this. Drink just a little. There we go. That's good enough. All right, my health is down, but you know what? That's nothing. There's nothing I can do about that. All right, so that means that there's going to be Z's around, or infected around. I hope. There's some more bark. Cool. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, yeah, and I didn't think about this, but we also might have we might have something in here, too. Nope. These might be glitched out because uh, these have been sitting here. This one's been sitting for a minute. I reset it, but this one's been sitting for a minute and hadn't caught anything. So I don't know if it's a wrong season now or what's going on. What season is it? A few months to winter, so we're still in the, in the summertime. Do we have any infected laying around? Hey, we got one. All right, so we got a band, we got a cloth, a rag, and what else? Not seeing any. Oh, there's another one. Okay. All right, there's a bottle.
But no food for today. Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like we have any food for the day. So that's fine. These came back. What the heck, dude? All right, we have to, we have to, we have to harvest these because they, sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. So let's go ahead and let's grab this. Let's chop these apart, man. We have to. I need these parts. I don't know why this, these things keep coming back, but they do. Oh, no, I'm severely wounded. No. Oh, man, I forgot about that. Do I have any alcohol at all? I do have two alcohol. All right, so we're going to make a bandage. Dude, until I'm healed, I can't do any chopping. Oh, there's two more. There's two more infected out here. All right, nothing. Well, I'm gonna let these sit, and when I reload, they may not be here when I get back. So, but I can't take the chance. So, yeah. That is. Food poisoning is almost done. How's this looking? Still raw, huh? 51% on this meat. Should be dry by tonight. Let's see if we have anything down in here. How are our chickens looking? That one's still there. Don't have another don't have another egg, so. Alright guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to harvest this hide or not. We're gonna go ahead back right quick. And see if we can harvest this hide. Oh, that's a that's a bandit camp right there. We gotta watch out for that. You know what? Um, once I get healed up, we might take on that bandit camp. I'm thinking. There's a motel. There he is. And I don't. Oh yeah, I left this box here too. I don't really need the. Uh oh. There we go. Um, I don't really need the, the, the fat. Let's see if we can do this. Alright, so it's not affecting... Uh, me doing this is not affecting my health, so... Alright, I got my two hides. I'm just going to gra grab this right quick. We'll take this, put this back in the truck. I, was, I thought I might need it for harvesting stuff, but harvesting just took too long, so... All right, let's go ahead and head back to the house. Let's go ahead and put this on the rack, and we'll put the other one away. Whoa, hang on. What's this? A suitcase. I'll take that suitcase, man. We'll use that suitcase. Heck yeah, dude. What's in here? Nothing, just empty. That was a random suitcase just appeared, I guess. I know I've been, I've been to this this car before. Maybe I didn't pick up the uh, the suitcase. I don't know. Weird. Cool thing about harvesting that hide, it actually helped. I mean, they passed the time so I could heal a little bit faster, which was nice. Oh, careful! All right, let's go ahead and put this guy on here. Boom. Put this one away. Nice. All right, we're almost we're almost healed up. Almost healed up. A little bit more time here. How are we doing on this this all right, we're at 63%. So I'm probably going to be hungry before I it's all said and done here. Let's drink a little bit of water. And do we have any meat over here? Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Well, you know, I probably should have left one more steak out without without making any of the salted food. But it can't be helped now. It's already done. You can't cry over spilt, spilt jerky. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, let's, I guess we're going to go ahead and, you know what, guys? I think we're going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to go ahead and the mist is going to roll in anytime, I'm sure. So, I'm going to go ahead and rest up. And probably by the night, we'll have some salted meat. That we could go ahead and have for dinner and then we're going to go ahead and tomorrow i think we'll do a couple of other things i think we'll uh once i'm healed up i'm going to tear these things down hopefully we're going to be able to have enough time i can go ahead and make a distillery so i can make some alcohol so i can make bandages because i'm out of bandages right now 
but I have plenty of bottles and I have plenty of rags. So all I gotta do is make, I, mean, I got plenty of sugar. So all I have to do is just make, uh, make alcohol so I can make alcohol bandages and then we should be good to go. Okay guys, well I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.